Hi everybody, this is Tina from Tina's Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you're having a good weekend. I am. I had the house to myself. The hubby's gone. No grandchildren. I did Google Hangouts with the Kathy's. Hey on. I'm going to screw this up, so I'm going to get it right. Kathy's Creative Life. There was a gentleman named Ian in there, and that man can watercolor. Uh, hopefully I can find him and I will link both of those wonderful people's channels. I was coloring some images to make some Christmas cards. I would probably have more done, but I was watching him watercolor. It was just amazing. So I got two cut, two done. <laughs> it is what they look like. They're the Art Impressions little chorus singers. They're so cute. So I'll color the rest of them because I still have a few images left. So that's what I did today, besides other things before I went live. I made this charm last night. This is for my going to be for my December daily, and I wanted to share. I have the jingle bell. I have a little snowman ornament on there. I have Santa sleigh, I have a Christmas booty, another Christmas booty, but I'm talking charm. A wreath, little jingle bells, his little gloves. Snowman. Uh, that's like a bear with ice skates or something. I can't tell. It has something on there. It's wreath. I still haven't figured it out because it's so tiny. Uh, oh, let's see. I keep wondering what it says. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays. And then a candy cane and some bells. And then a Christmas tree. And there's another Christmas tree. And a peppermint stick. Can't gain. So that is my charm for my December daily. I decided to take off what I have on my December daily counter make a charm. I used some chain I had at home here, and I had this loop that Scott cut for me because it was totally whole. I didn't, so he just kind of took a pliers and cut it for me. And I bought the little tailored pins a while ago. So that's my charm for my charm. I've never did one like this, guy, so I'm really proud of this. This is my charm for my December daily. Then I have been recycling Christmas cards. And I did a Christmas junk journal. And I also made a charm for this one. This one's a little bit smaller. I didn't want to go overboard like I did in that one. And I have Santa on this one. I got a candy cane. I got some charms like that on there. Um, and some Santa hands. And a bell. I thought I had Santa slam here. Oh. Well, I guess I did. I think I might have to add some more charms to this. So it looks awfully plain. So that's this charm on this one. And then I have this Christmas ornament hanging as well. And then I have a bow. And then this is the front of the book. I wanted mittens. Do you think I could find, I was at Walmart and Dollar Tree, that I could find a, a ornament that was mittens? No. So I picked this one up with the candy canes, and it says Joy, and it has some pine cones. And when you open it, you have a pocket on this side, a double pocket. There's journaling cards, and all these are index cards that have washi tape on them. I have this sticker down here of the sleigh, and then this is, I'm going to pull this out. I won't pull these all out, but all I did is take an index card and I put washi on each one. It's different, different washi, washi on each one. So I have this card here, and then when you open it, it's all, it was a Christmas card, and I recycled it. You open it, and I made a little piece like this, and I got some a circle so you can write in. I got a little reindeer, or rain, yeah, there's reindeer, and a snowman, and I got Jingle Bell all the way, paper on the back. Over here it says Merry Christmas. Got this holiday paper behind, behind it, it says Merry Christmas. And I got this little scenery with the fireplace and the stockings hanging. And then on the back side, it's... A little polar bear and he has a tuck spot. I should put something in there. I just realized that. 
I don't have anything in there. So I'll just tuck something in there. So they know it's a tuck spot. Now to the journal. I used Christmas cards, mostly, to use as inserts. This is the first one. It says, Happy Holidays. I got some washi up there. And then when you open it, you have a tuck spot, or not tuck spot, pocket. Some journaling cards, as you can see. Each one has a different washi on it, top and bottom. I got cute little peppermints up here, and it says Merry Christmas. Some little mitten paper peppermints. I have a die cut with some snowflakes and Santa, and green snow or green paper with snowflakes on. Let me just turn around and put them in there. And I also dyed me some Christmas paper this week with food coloring. What a mess because Tina forgot to put gloves on the first time. <laughs> my my nails still haven't got clean, guys. I got the hands, but my nails are nasty. I can't get it clean. They're just going to have to. I guess I have to do dishes more often. <laughs> but I took some paper, a printer paper, and I ran off some paper that was music notes and I don't know where it is at the moment I think I put it away but it's music sheets Christmas carols and I didn't want to use the book itself so I made copies and then I dyed it this one happens to be red and then I have this in here and then here's another Christmas card it says all is calm isn't that puppy cute little Santa hat and you open it, and then I have peppermint paper in the background. And then this paper I have says 1 through 25. Got a little mousse down here. Here's the green dyed paper I did. This is on some writing paper, you know, like kids practice their cursive writing or printing. And then I have an envelope that's decorated. I should have put an image there. Hmm, I might put something in the center of that. I think it would look like a cute little image there or I could leave it for journaling who knows or and then here you open it up and it's a tuck spot here's some of the paper that's a mixture of the green and red I think it's cool looking and then here's another Christmas card which is the scenery of the fireplace and the stockings and the wreath oh there's a little stuff there in the corner and then when you open this one it is a tuck spot again some journaling cards. For here is the journaling page. Washi tape well, here. And it says Merry Christmas. A little package. For and this one is bulbs in the background. And then this back page is like candy canes and cookies. And I have a little mousse. I said Happy Holiday one and all. And you open it. Down here is a little Christmas tree and then a journaling spot. Here's some of that paper I made. Here's the other side of the envelope. And then paper, dyed paper, green. And here is the rest of the numbers that go to 41. And I just have a little reindeer at the end of this one. I have some little ribbon. And on this side, it says Merry Christmas with a little journaling spot. Christmas bingo. Plain paper. Journal on Christmas dye paper again. Oh, holy night! And on this side, all I all I want for Christmas is, and I have a little snowman. And then that is the first signature. Back here, I have like two. It looks like a little envelope, a Christmas tree, a little journaling card. Santa, have yourself a very merry Christmas. When I started doing this drum journal, I was only going to stick two in, but I, could fit, I was able to fit three. So that's where the center one comes in. Because the center one is paper and stuff that I used because I ran out of Christmas cards. I can't believe I don't have no Christmas cards. But I did make th four of these already for the, using the Christmas cards. So I did use a lot of them. Oh, I should show you that. I will show you the next. After this, I'll show you what the other one I made. So, this is one, a, a signature that's made out of different papers I had. 
Got this paper in front. Let's leave. You know what that means. It's an ugly sweater. <laughs> then I have an envelope. Doily on top of it in a tuck spot in here. Have some paper. This paper right here is little quotes that's Christmas related. And then here I have this where you pull this out to write. Here's an ugly sweater. And this is the paper how it looked. Oh, no, this isn't because I actually did this on cardstock and not printer paper. So Silent Night. I like that, how I did the sweater. Here's another one it pulls out to write on. And then you just kind of slip back. I have a doily. Another little spot to say Merry Christmas. Little snowman. Do you believe this is actually wrapping paper? I think it's so cute and I refuse to use it. So I put it in my cup here and made paper. I love snow. Here's another spot you bring out. Just a note. Got washi going on all over. A doily, and I glued the doily to the envelope. And there's a tux envelope here. And it says Happy Holidays. Over here is the, the rest of the song paper. I have a little journaling paper and a doily. <coughs> Excuse me. This one over here is a tuck spot. Or, yep. And I have a little doily with a snowman and then some journaling cards. And then here I have a doily. And then I have an ugly sweater. And then when you open that, a little journal spot. And then this one, <laughs> ugly sweater. And then you open it and you have a journal spot on each side as well. And then on this side, it's an ugly sweater. She's, it's not, this one's not glued. I left this one not glued. And a little journal spot. Doily. Another note. Just a note. And pull it out like that. Wash your tape all across. Here's deck the halls. I did the paper here. And it says North Pole down here, by the way. A little tuck spot with an envelope. A doily. More journaling cards. And you just pull them out again, as well as up here is a duck spot as well. And on this side is the snowman, and you put open these, and it says no peeking. And you just put them back. You have a little journaling spot and a doily, more journaling little spot, ugly sweater. A belly band with some journaling cards, or you could use them for photo cards, I guess, whatever you, would, or whatever you would choose. And this side is just a note, an envelope, and then tuck stuff. And then a doily, another little writing spot. And that's the back, so that's signature too. This is a uh, recycled Christmas cards once again. Peace on Earth. And you open it and it's snowflake related and I got snowflakes in here. And then some red paper I dyed. And then this Christmas card with the lighthouse in it, so pretty. When you open that, it's a little tux pocket. It has some little cards in here like this just says Tis the season, la 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 la, and then trim the tree, oh, Christmas tree, and then I stole this from this idea from Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. And you open it, and it's got a little paper like that. And then that tucked right there. A little gingerbread. A little journaling spot here. And then there's another Christmas card with these little bears. You know, cute little angel bears. You open this and it just says Merry Christmas. Some of my dyed paper I made. This one is Heart the Heart Angel Sing. Greetings of the season. Christmas card with the cute mailboxes and birds. 
And then you have a journaling spot here with the cars. This is Merry Christmas. Santa over here it says, Dear Santa, on this little piece of paper. This one just is plain with red stripes and a Christmas tree. And right here it says, Merry and Bright. And I just have this little tag and this right here. Some more of the paper I dyed. A little journaling spot to some Merry Christmas. I have a tag back here with a gem with a little bird, a little square to write in. Watch you go now. Have this paper here. And this is a little journaling spot. A little reindeer here. This is Merry Christmas. Some ribbon going down the edging. Back side is again to and from. Merry Christmas. A little journaling spot. Santa. I have some dyed paper. And then this is a tuck spot. And I have snowflakes on these cards. It says Merry Christmas in the center. They're pretty. And it's there. And then I have two more pockets in the back with journaling cards and this little snowman. So that is my junk journal. Recycled Christmas card junk journal, I should call it. I think it turned out so, so good. And then I made... I don't know if I showed it, but I'll show it again just in case. So that's the junk journal I made. And I made this one right here. I think I showed this, but I'm not positive. So I'll just show it again. And what I did is I just tied some of this twine I had on this little clip. And I opened it. And got the Christmas sled. Is believe, and then it's got Merry Christmas, and I got wishing you a wonderful Christmas in a season filled with peace and, and beauty. And a little Santa, some dyed paper, little angels, and I got an envelope, some goodies in little spots here for my dyed paper. This is Christmas blessings, pretty glittery church. It's all nice, so glittery. And I got the little to and from and some Christmas balls. This is Merry Christmas. Some of the paper I dyed. Santa! Gotta have Santa. And then a little gingerbread house, which is a tuck spot. And I got some goodies in there. A little snowman, a little penguin, some little cards. This says joy. Dyed paper. And that's the center. And then got tag, little gingerbread people. And then I have the little tuck spot, sterling cards, the first Noel. And then here I got this little says Merry Christmas, dear Santa. Got this little stamp image, got some stickers. This flips open. Journal spot there. Some paper, got a tag, and got a little tuck spot here. And some stickers, and my paper I made. Got the journaling spot. Back here, I stuck a little pocket, and I stuck this tag I made in a while ago. Or that was so pretty. About two weeks ago, I think I made that a little dyed paper, and then back here some journaling spots. The snowman, and that is the back cover. Also has a tuck spot, and then you take the clip, and you just close it like so. That's my second one I made. Man, okay. I bought Michael's grab boxes last winter after Christmas, and I ended up with these cute little stockings, but they had initial like Q. Um, I don't remember. I have I had five. I know one was an X because my son's name is Xavier, so he got that one. But I think the rest were all Qs. So what I did is I embellished them to cover up the letter. This is the first one I did. And 
made this last year, Hudson, and I just put it on the stocking. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. This is a tree ornament I had just in my stash, and I just put it on there. And then here's the third one. I've had this for so long, and I didn't know what I was going to use it for. It's all sequins. Isn't that gorgeous? I have three or four of these. Not this same one, but four sequin images. The next one is Santa. But I have a snowman. I have two snowmen. A holly, I think. But those are the stockings that I re refurbished, I guess you would call it. So it was all about me recycling, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't call this recycling. <laughs> per se. <laughs> but my book is. A lot of my book is. Oh, and I made the book out of chipboard and I covered it with some material I had. So that is what I've been working on off and on all week. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out my video. As always, be happy, be safe, be crafty, and bye for now.